Some people are very concerned about having their kids secondhand smoke of cannabis. But then my debate with that is, I'm like, okay, do you do the same thing with cigarettes? Do you have your kids close their eyes and you pour a glass of wine? At Vice Ventures, we're very big into overcoming stigmas and talking about exactly what it means to consume cannabis or consume alcohol or any, any other vices. If we talk about this openly, the next generation will have a very different relationship with some of these substances. Seed stage venture capital firm. We invest in all things vices, which basically means nicotine, cannabis, alcohol, sex tech. 28 year old New York native Catherine Dockery is hoping to switch stigmas by investing in bad businesses. More recently, she's been eyeing New York's budding marijuana industry. First and foremost, the most important thing about legalization is that it has the potential to reverse mass incarceration. I think it's 160,000 people in New York alone will have their records expunged from low-level cannabis convictions. That is like first and foremost, the most important part about this. Uh, legalizing adult use cannabis, which would raise about $350 million. Uh, 100 million would go to a social equity fund. $350 million of tax revenue. And what's super interesting about that is that part of the law says that 40% of it has to go to communities who have most been negatively impacted by the war on drugs. Fun fact, uh, the New York cannabis market is actually expected to exceed $4 billion by 2027. We're very excited to see how New York kind of like puts its spin on what dispensaries look like, right? Because California culture is very different from New York culture. In California right now in LA, there was actually a few people who were granted consumption licenses. And what that means is that you can go into this consumption lounge and you can buy cannabis and smoke cannabis and try different strains. With all of the different strains of flour, the bud tenders will actually let you smell all of that, right? And also you think of like how people enjoy wine, right? Like you have a whole different wine glasses, one for Cabernet, one for Chardonnay, right? We also think that there's gonna be an explosion of cannabis accessories that people are gonna wanna use and put in their homes and make as beautiful as possible. So I definitely think it'll be similar in terms of experience. For NBC New York, I'm Linda Gaudino.